So this is what I look like fresh out of bed. <laughs> I don't have a ton of time today, but I haven't filmed in like more than two weeks and I miss it. So I figured I'd film a little get ready with me. Um, I work in like half an hour, so we're gonna see what we can do. Honestly, I don't have a lot of good excuses for not filming for the last couple weeks, like for myself, but I don't know. I've just been really busy and I figured Overstressing myself was not going to do anything positive, so. but it's all blotchy up here and my fine lines are actually looking worse rather than better <laughs> so today we're working on antioxidant and hydration because I really don't want my forehead to look like that I will say I would love eventually to upgrade my camera but in the meantime I do not have the expenses for that there's just something about the way this camera kind of like blurs imperfections. And I don't really want that. <laughs> it's flattering, sure, and it's nice when I'm trying to, you know, show off makeup, but it's also not really useful for some of the stuff that I want to show y'all or talk about. If I'm having something going on with my skin, I can't really show you guys. It sounds like I'm making it up. Forehead really is pretty blotchy right now. You just can't see it, I guess. Or maybe you can. We'll find out while I'm editing. And if this is in there, then you can't see it. <laughs> Now while my skincare marinates so I can put my sunscreen on top, I'm going to grab myself some coffee and change clothes. All right, now that my skincare has dried down just a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I consider my second layer of skincare, sunscreen and color corrector. So this color corrector is the Ola Henriksen one, right? and it's been super popular. I really like the formula. However, it took me a while to learn how to use it because I was trying to use it post skincare with my makeup, like right before putting on concealer. And I didn't learn until more recently that the formula is more like a, like a pigmented eye cream. So it actually doesn't sit very well on top of my sunscreen underneath my makeup, but it sits really, really well underneath everything. I just like to use my normal eye cream and use this on top once it dries down. So I apply it to the back of my hand and we're just gonna press in the corner where I have the most discoloration. And press here as well. And you can basically just keep picking up pigment on your finger until you feel like you have enough on your under eye. 
that's right on my under eye it is not it is not like blended in I really just don't touch it much at all but I kind of make sure that there's no pigment right here before I apply sunscreen my two favorite sunscreens this summer have been this one the tinted complexion by Coats and the Australian gold tinted one this one's a lot dewier, it doesn't dry down 100%, and if you're bringing it all the way to your neck and decolletage, it will get on your clothes a little bit throughout the day because it's not drying down completely. But it is lightweight, it feels super dewy. As someone with dry skin, my skin adores this one. It's hydrating, it's dewy, my skin really loves it, but I just don't like the staining. This one dries down matte. It does not stain, but if I get wet, it makes me look like I'm melting. So I do try to use this one more for like day-to-day -day use. And it's also cheaper than the other one that I have. It's a super thick, kind of like heavy formula, which I love because honestly, it makes it pretty easy to just put a ton in one spot. This Australian gold sunscreen smells a bit like apples to me. I'm not positive that it's supposed to smell like apples, but to me it does. There's eucalyptus extract in here. Don't see anything to do with apples, so I don't really know where that scent, smell is coming from. But, whatever. And if you experience sunscreen pilling, there's a chance that your products don't work together. And that's what everyone always talks about. However, what I learned with myself is that 90% of sunscreen pilling that I experienced is because I was not putting on enough sunscreen to coat the entire face evenly. And then when I would put other products on top of it, it would pull at where the layer was thicker based on where it was thinner and it was a mess. So I do recommend applying what you feel like is too much sunscreen and then rubbing it all the way in because there's no reason to not wear enough sunscreen and it will rub in. And these tinted formulas aren't so bad. I have the light shade in both of these. Um, they're both a little bit darker than I need them to be, which is good because they're meant for a range of light skin tones. And I feel like this could work on anyone from like a super fair pale um, like me too closer to like a like a medium tan skin tone um I do know that this brand tends to pull very orange but the same way any sunscreen needs to be rubbed in to not look weird this one definitely needs it too so I don't feel like it turns me orange once it's rubbed in I just feel like it uh it always makes me feel Oompa Loompa-esque at first. Now... Okay. Well... about this for my shift. 